Welcome back to Weekly Stock Picks for the month of January. Our special topic for the month is using RSI, which stands for Relative Strength Index. It's a super handy tool to use so you know before you jump into a stock, whether it's overbought, which means that the stock price is at such a level that the fundamentals will no longer support it and its price will likely drop soon. I'll show you how to use some free apps on your phone to calculate the RSI of any stock that you're considering without the need to worry about any complex formulas. As we begin the second week of the new year, we'll be watching a number of earnings reports coming through including for KB Home, Lennar Corporation, Delta Airlines, JP Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, CSX Corporation, Citicorp, United Health, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, American Express, and many more. Some of these run up in the days ahead of reporting, but be careful. An earnings beat with less than a stellar guidance for the year can result in significant drops. Let's take a look at some stocks I suggested last time. There were a number of significant wins. First, we look at Northern Dynasty Minerals. Great things have been accomplished here over the last several weeks. December 18th, First Quantum signed on to a framework agreement to help fund the permitting process, which could lead to a 50% stake in the project. Five days later, they sent a check for $37.5 million to cover permitting fees. Barely a week later, the application was filed with the Army Corps of Engineers. Last Friday, the Corps acknowledged receipt and noted that they've accepted the permit for review as is. Soon, requests for bids and environmental impact study paperwork gets underway. And keep in mind, since the Army Corps of Engineers accepted the permit, this constitutes a major de-risking factor. You can bet on a number of significant upgrades in the days and weeks to come once word gets out. Make sure to take a read of Paul Lebo's Seeking Alpha article that came out on January 8th. It gives great insight on all the positives. There's been a lot of consolidating going on as well. There's four significant mining conferences coming up between now and the beginning of March. So don't wait to get in on this until after it hits $2 a share or more. At Apricus Biosciences, we should hear something this month, but no later than February, regarding FDA approval for their topical erectile dysfunction cream, which has a potential $350 million market in the U.S. alone. It's currently approved in over 30 countries worldwide. The charts look great, and it hit a high of $2.53 last week. This week, there's been a bit of a pullback, most likely from profit-taking. There's also been a respectable amount of insider buying, which is always a good sign. This should be a slam dunk, so hopefully you can check it out. Protolix Biotherapeutics has had a couple of exciting weeks recently. It looks pretty strong over the 200 EMA, and I definitely expect more upside as we get into February and early March. And as we wait on final data for their OPRX 106. It should be noted that the interim data on their submission has been very encouraging. Jeffries recently issued a buy rating with a nearly 200% upside. H.C. Wainwright recently raised their price target to $5 a share on January 7th. Some people think that because of incentive options that occur mid-February that there's a likelihood that we might see a spike easily within a month. You may not know this, but this company is the only one to date that has an FDA-approved product that is based on a plant cell express protein and the company has several drugs in its pipeline. The charts are showing more volume and higher highs and higher lows. At 75 cents, it's not a huge risk with lots of reward. There's been some really impressive numbers coming out of HTG Molecular. Last week it was announced that revenue growth from the fourth quarter of 2016 to that of 2017 was nearly 400%. Revenue for the full year just ended is nearly 170% over that from the year before. Respectable collaborative revenues had a significant impact on 2017 revenues. They also received an upgrade to $5 a share by one of the analysts following them. It's nearly a year to the date that they had their monumental run, and most people who've been watching this for a while see the charts lining up just like they did back then. So watch this one close. 
At Synergy Pharma, we're expecting news on or about January 24th regarding the expanded use of their FDA-approved drug Trulance. There's been a number of significant late-day trades in the hundreds of thousands and tens of thousands range earlier in the month and even last week. I don't think that it's an accident that there were three less than positive press releases which wiped away all gains from earlier in the month, just days before we hear from the FDA. I believe it's part of the shenanigans that happens with many bios. Cyclocell Pharmaceuticals has been trading in a narrow range of $1.68 to $1.81 a share since about mid-December. Any day now, we should get FDA news on their CYC065 candidate, and this will be a huge catalyst for the company. Talk on the street is very positive on the odds of a favorable outcome. I also like that they have a nice development pipeline. This could pop fast, so keep an eye on it. I conclude with Home Depot. Besides having strong holiday sales, they've had an excellent year, primarily because of record numbers of natural disasters. The charts are very strong, and their consistency gives investors confidence. We'll definitely see $200 a share before month end, if history repeats itself. So now let's talk about RSI. We'll keep it simple and hope you use this information before you jump into any stock. RSI can range between 0 and 100. When the RSI is above 70, the stock is considered overbought, and when it's below 30, it's considered oversold. For practical purposes, remember, overbought is bad, oversold is good. The Relative Strength Index also helps you to identify trends and can be used as a momentum indicator. So if the RSI continues to rise, you know that the stock price may fall. Then you have to make the executive decision if you want to hold or dump the stock because your equity will be tied up for possibly longer than you might like. The converse is true also. I use a free app on my iPhone that you can download from the app store called Stockmaster. There's a ton of apps and websites that will do the job as well. All you do is enter in the ticker symbol of the stock that you're considering to jump in. Suppose you want to check out the last stock that we mentioned, Home Depot its ticker symbol HD. You just scroll down and look at the RSI. As of Tuesday after hours, the RSI is 66.38, which indicates that right now might not be such a good time to jump into the stock. But if you have an overwhelming feeling as to why you should jump in, then you need to consider outside catalysts in your overall decision. As of now, Home Depot is a solid stock that has great upward momentum based on lots of historical data available at your fingertips. But suppose you look at a more speculative stock and you're not really sure if you should jump in or not. Suppose we look at Cyclocell Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol CYCC. That's one that I suggested earlier. The RSI here is just 14, way oversold and technically ideal to buy. Traders also use RSI to spot divergence. It helps to confirm other signals and lets investors know when a trend might almost be over. For example, if you look at a chart and price tops are getting higher but RSI is dropping, this indicates weakness in the uptrend. Bullish divergence is when the price of a stock is falling but the RSI is rising. It's a warning that the price could soon move higher since selling momentum is slowing down. Keep in mind, all indicators have limitations, and RSI is no different. We just want to give you another tool in your arsenal to hopefully make a few extra bucks or not lose more than you have to. Please don't forget, investing in the stock market carries risk. Never invest more than you can afford to lose or not have access to for an extended period of time. If you enjoy our videos, we appreciate you smashing that subscribe button and clicking like. Have a great month and we'll see you in February.